Heavy on its brie, and yes, I just had a shower, so my hair looks awful and whatever, but yeah. So I just thought I'd do this video because some people like to watch these, so I thought, hey, you know what? I'll just show the pads I wore this month. Um, so I think I'm going to start with my night pads and kind of go up. And I had an eventful period this month, so there will kind of be stories in here, but I don't want to do too much, um, get into too much detail into them, because I don't want this video to get too long. So here we go. So here are the night pads I wore. So this one is from Cozy Cloth. I really like this pad. It is 12 inches long, I think and um, really thin. The one thing I didn't like about flannel is that we've got really hard water where we live and um, it just goes, oh, that horrible feel, but I'll put it in white vinegar and that should help it. But it's not too bad, I did like soap again and everything. Okay, so that one. Then there's this Eco Rain one, Minky. And um, this is only 11 inches and I think, because it's a bit thick and it's 11 in it's got two layers of absorbing it, I think, and a layer of Pro Care. Um, and because it is quite thick, um, and it's just kind of off the back of your arm. It kind of feels like you're sitting on something a bit uncomfortable. Uh, but I did like this pad when I was lying down. Just not good for sitting up. So that's the Eco Rainbow. Uh, and then I've got one I made. Uh, this is my night pad. Yeah, uh, this is three layers of toweling in it. I did not need that many layers. I only need to put two in because I did not even like, get close to filling this up. And it's a bit bulky so I've like adjusted my pattern now. Okay, so those were my three night pads. I did use my menstrual cup. That goes with the story of the pants line, though, so I'll tell that later. So we move on to heavy pads. Uh, this is a Precious Stars pad. This is one of my first ones, so I didn't put the ribbon on it because I can't bother to waste my ribbon on me. Precious Stars. This is the On Your Flow pad. And if you want me to do reviews on any of these pads, please just say because um, I don't really know which ones you want me to review or say. I know there aren't that many in the UK, so if you want me to review a certain pad in the UK, then tell me. Uh, Eco Rainbow, again from Feminine Wear. And there's another Eco Rainbow here. This is one. This is the one I wore on my second day of my period when I had to go to hospital because I was in like so much pain, I was throwing up and everything. And I thought, like, this can't be period cramps because I can't walk. And this is the one I wore, held everything. It was so comfortable when I was like lying in a hospital bed, like writhing in agony before they gave me codeine and stuff. So that was that. And I took one of my um, moderate flow ones as well. So those were all the heavy pads. And then we go into the moderate flow. So then I have my Mimi's Dream star print. I love this print. And I'm pretty sure it was this one I took. I took. I have two identical. One is yellow backing, but I'm pretty sure it's in the field. This is the one I use. Okay. And then I have an 8 inch Precious Stars pad. This is before I switch to the plastic snaps. Then I have an Eco Femme. I love this pad. This pad is amazing. Seriously. And it supports like the Eco Femme stuff, but you cannot feel it. Even though it's quite thick, it just it feels amazing and it absorbs everything. So I just love this pad. Um my cozy cloth. Again, I really like it. I'm just not the biggest fan of flannel, so yeah, I that. This is the other pad I took when we went to the hospital. So when I was in like writhing in pain and throwing up, I managed to grab this and put it in my little scoon cut bag. And you know, I survived the hospital because of thanks to these pads and they made it so much better. So you can switch. It's not that difficult. And then the last one is a minky one that I made with the plastic. I just love cherries. I love cherry prints. It's like my favorite print of all time. This is a minky top, so it's really soft. Yeah. Again, that's my regular with the pink blue ribbon. So those were my moderate or regular flow pads. Then we go on to the light day pads. So I have this one from Mimi's Dreams. Regular flow. And as you, if you watch my um, first video with my stash, you'll see it's grown quite a lot since I did that. Then my Eco Rainbow. I think this is 8 inches or 7.5 inches. No, I think it's 8 inches pad. And then I have my Yurtcraft light day pad. Loved this pad, was amazing. Yeah. Got the two stars with the regular flow. And then this one, and I'm really pissed off about this one because it's staining slightly, but I worked out my staining solution and it kind of, the stain, you can't see it, it's gone. So yeah. Then I have my long light days pad. Go from Precious Stars. This was just one of the prototypes I made. 
but yeah. And then I have another minky top one because I bought some minky in this print and I loved it. Eight inch. Okay, so that is was that eight inch? Yeah, eight inch. So those are the light day pads. Then finally we've got the panty liners. My two little panty liners, six inch panty liners from the Pink Lemonade. I have to say my review on these was pretty negative, but they're really good pads. They were really good panty liners because they've, they've got a really small gusset, which I really like in my panty liner. So yeah, cute prints. Um, then I have a Precious Stars one. And then I have Mimi's Dreams. Green, please. Oh, you can see it at the bottom there. It's really bright green, you can't see it. Then another Precious Stars panty liner. Again, a prototype. And then a Domino's pad. I really like this pad. You know, it just fits so well in your pants and everything. Well made. Good pad. And then the last pad. And this pad has a little bit of a story. This pad I wore on my second heaviest night with my Maluna cup. And I didn't open my cup up properly. And so everything, I my cervix had dropped really low and I didn't realise it. So my cup opened like next to my cervix. So the blood just came all around the side. But this thing held everything in it and I was just amazed because it's like a tiny little panty line I don't know if you can see yes it's actually thin a little bit so I was just like oh my god this pad has just held everything I love you um so yeah I could have got through my entire period this time practically on light day pads and panty liners seriously that's how light my period got this time but I just wanted to show you guys see if I can stack these up very quickly that these are all the pads I got oh and thank you everyone who supported me on Etsy I had all these different orders and I did not expect to get as many as I did and yeah, so thanks. I'm just opening two custom orders soon so stay tuned for that. But here are all the pads I wore this month. Let's get my fingers out of the way. Okay, bye, I'll see you next time.